What's good? What's hey. good? What's good? What's good? Yeah. How you doing? Man? I'm good, Pa. How are you? I'm lovely. I'm lovely, man. Welcome to the process. Oh, Santi, thank you so much for having me. Yes, ma'am. This is the show where we break down the dopeness, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you, I think, you don't even need an introduction with <laughs> the dopeness levels, you know. You're a presenter, an artist, you know, an all-round A-lister. You're hard with it. So, oh, thank you. Welcome. I welcome like to properly. be A-lister. <laughs> That's a good list to be on the A-list, eh? Definitely. <laughs> definitely. And you got it. You got it. So, we got to take it from the beginning, all right? Um, while I was checking you out, I noticed that you were Miss Pinoni. Yes! Yeah, you know, I was Miss Pinoni 2010. 2010, thank you very much, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Which is something that I'm actually really, really proud of because there's a lot of things that I learned in those days, just like doing pageants. Mm. I also went to like modeling classes in mm. Pinoni. Crazy. So, yeah, I loved it, man. I'm super proud to be Miss Pinoni. That is crazy, that is crazy. So how do you go from being Miss Pinoni to a fully fledged MC in the game. Like, who put you on? Did someone put you on, on onto hip hop? What happened? How oh, go? wow. So, like, growing up, I think the earliest reference of hip hop I really, really have is probably like Eminem, because okay. I went to a private school, you okay, know? Okay, okay. And then there was like Missy Elliott. Yes, ah, she was too much. She was like really, really amazing. Too much, too much. And then I got to high school and I started hanging out with people who were in other schools and they exposed me to other things. So then it was like a lot of Lil Wayne, you know? I remember ah, Cardi 3 was just like our yeah. everything. Super, super obsessed with that. But I just always wanted to be a TV presenter, you okay. know? That was always my mission, just watching your TV. I was Crazy. always like, what? I really want to do that. Mm. So modeling just kind of was this steps to the TV thing. Okay. And then TV got me working at MTV for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. just being in that space, being surrounded by artists and just seeing what the African music scene is doing. Mm. And also just like seeing where say hip hop was about to go, mm. you know? Mm. Not where it was, because mm. a lot of people mm. started when they're like, okay, it's a thing now, we're, yes. we're inside. Yes. I was kind of like, I started rapping as a just, uh, you know, to the So I feel you. That's, that's how it happened for me, yeah. How did you end up in Cash Time Life? Mm. Like, how did that happen? Because you said the MTV thing, I see it. Yeah. Even that, how did you go from MTV to Channel O? Like, how do you do that? That's like, that was super saiyan. Yeah, right? It's kind of <laughs> unheard of to yeah. like work for two yeah. big how did channels. How you do but that? Yeah. How I got into Cash Time is working at MTV. VG also worked at MTV and he was a compiler at the time. Or, right. you know, he, a scheduler. Mm. He was the guy mm. who puts the, the yes. videos into the place where he plays on the channel. I did. So he was obviously with Cash Time. He was a DJ and then he kind of mentioned to me that they were looking for a female artist to kind of join the squad mm -hmm. and he wondered if I'd ever thought about doing music. Not really like seriously, but okay. when the opportunity presented itself, I was like, this doesn't sound like a bad idea. Mm. I know for everybody else, That's they were crazy. like, why would you just now become a rapper? Mm. You know, you have this growing television career, but mm. to me, it just seemed like the perfect opportunity. So VG suggested it. Before that, you weren't even thinking it. I guess you could say that, yeah, That's man. That's crazy, okay. Give VG's props, you know. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, now VG, like, we're in office, it was me, VG, and Mal, and we all just had this conversation. Mm. So he invited me to the Cash Time house, and then I met with, um, Ma'i and I met with K.O. Mm. and the rest as they say is history. It's history, yeah. Ne? I was actually, we were chatting with Zinga not so long ago and he was talking about K.O.'s work ethic, you know, that it's on another level. Do you, do you think you can say like anything from that time makes you you? Like, cause he noticed that from K.O. and that makes him him. That's where he gets his drive. Is there anything from the Cash Time Lifetime that like, yo, you still carry and say, yo, this, this actually groomed me and shaped me into being. Jeez, so much, man, mm. so much. Some lessons were like really fun and amazing to learn. Mm. Other lessons were like super shit and really, really hard to learn. <laughs> I feel but you. But there were I lessons learned nonetheless. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just the little things, you know, even though we aren't necessarily a squad anymore, but they yeah. really did teach me the importance of collaboration, mm -hmm. the importance and the power of working as a unit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. My E taught me a lot of life lessons as well. Sure. I feel like Kid X pretty much taught me how to rap. Um, Mugs taught me how to be like 
super clinical just okay, like yeah. every verse just yeah. be like a super yeah. killer you know so different Body people though. taught me different things for sure i feel you i feel you I feel you said some some lessons were really hard mm -hmm. do you mind dabbling into those because that's, that's like the process you know yeah so you really gotta know like the hard stuff like the stuff that people don't want to do yeah you know? i mean that was definitely a real big lesson on the the shrewdness of the music business mm. um a lot of it was just based on love and family and brotherhood and sisterhood we all just really supported each other like when you saw us you could just see it was like just that squad movement you know mm. but there were a lot of loose ends where the business was concerned for sure um you know i remember just really wanting a contract from them just like mm. please can you guys sign me like mm. let's just put something on paper so that mm. everybody knows where they stand but you know, it, it never really happened and the way things ended was not the best. I feel you. So that wasn't you. really cool. But I, I learned my lesson. That's why I, when I left Cash Time, I started my own record label, No Musma Better Music, mm. because of the lessons that I've learned there. Crazy. And you went straight to your own thing straight yeah. after that. So you move like an A-lister, because you is an A-lister, <laughs> right? Um, how does your team look? You know, so you say you learned the lesson to start your own thing. Yeah. What does your team look like? You know, let's say you're starting your own thing. What are some of the fundamentals that you feel someone needs to have uh, or what you have in place, you know, when doing that? Oh, geez, I'll just tell you what I had at the time. It was just really Smuda, you know? Crazy. It was actually Smuda, Smuda who yeah. said to me, like, Yo, stop trying to find a deal, just open your own company. And oh. I was like, Spura, how am I going to do that? Like, I don't even have a song. Mm. Like, by then, the only songs I had was like, I was on Seven with Kid X. We had Fire. done um, Bus Up mm. and Don't oh. Panic. That's that all I had in Don't Panic time, was a speedster record. So I didn't even have any of my own songs. I just was like, I don't, I don't really have the know-how to do this. Mm. But I just realized that I was also in the perfect position to learn. So I think one piece of advice that I would give to anybody who really wants to start their own thing yes. is like find one person or a few people if, you, if you're blessed enough, sure. but find people who are going to grow with you and find people who are going to grow in the same space and at the same rate as you. Mm. Um, you know, I'm Muesli, I'm the rapper, I make the music, I'm the TV presenter or whatever, but like Smuda is the Muesli at what he does, you know. He's For a sure. super pioneering artist manager, you mm. know. He mm. has his own agency, SBR Projects. Dope. And he also represents Costa Tej and, Dope. you know, they do a whole lot of other work. So you just have to find somebody that's also trying to grow with you. So mm. if you have a friend mm -hmm. who doesn't necessarily have the best camera, but they're really interested in photography and they want to learn and they watch a lot of things on YouTube, keep that person close. Fact. Grow with that person, Fact. you know? Fact. When you get a little bit of money, buy that person a camera, you know? Um, just find people that are in the same space as you, who, who want to do the same things as you, you know? Mm. Um, even your friend is going to law school. Don't just shut him out because you guys are the cool kids Talk and he's it. in law school. Talk like, stick it. with that dude because you're going to no need facts. them one day. Real so facts. it's no really facts. important to surround yourself with like-minded people. And there's so much information out there now mm. that not everybody just wants to be a rapper. Like when I was coming up, like mm. there's actually so many other positions within the space that are just as important that, that you can fill. But I, I suggest that you start with the people around you. Because sure. too often people is like in the DMs, like, mm. yo, Muzli, please can you just listen to the song? Hey, and I, then talk about it. Talk about and it. And then what happens what, then after what you that, exactly, you know? Exactly. So it's really important it's not to up just to grow you, with people. Right? Facts, 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 facts. That's the real thing. Um, 2021, right? Uh, we started the year a little bit off crazy, mm -hmm. you know, pandemic dealing, mm -hmm. you know? You, how are you pandemic dealing, you know? Um, are you pandemic dealing? I'm just taking it one day at a time, you know? For sure. I'm really, sure. really taking it one day at a time. I think I've reached that point of the pandemic where I'm not trying to act like I know it all. <laughs> you know, in the beginning, I, I think we were all just like, yeah, I want to create content. And yeah. Start, start mm. TikTok accounts. Mm. And, you know, we really got to mm. just take it to the top. <laughs> but now I'm like just taking it one day at a time. For sure. Um, I just put out Spirit of an OG. So we like in Fire. major promo mode for that. Fire. Hopefully just trying to, you know, shoot more videos. No doubt. Get Blanco Sessions 2 done. So that's just where my focus is. But no, I lie. As an independent artist, it's been really really crazy it's been crazy probably man. one of the weirdest starts to the year i've had in a while for sure for mm. sure for sure talking about spirit of an og you know let's dive straight into that yeah um my favorite joints uh on the project are goalie 
Okay. Crazy. All right. Production devils are crazy. I love the boom bap intro. Okay. Ah, you impressed me too much. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. So I've got you on track one. You see, you see the steel. Still. Uh -huh. Still. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, That was too yeah. much. That was hot. That Thank was you. hot, you know? Uh, so what, what were some of your favorites uh, creating that? And what was your state of mind, you know? Because album, albums are a big thing to us as artists, you know? What was your state of mind creating the project? Well, it's so weird. This is actually a mixtape. It's got very big album energy. It's got Crazy. very, very big album energy. But it's actually a mixtape um, that we recorded on the lockdown. So what was really cool that we did is we were able to partner with Castle Lights. Dope. So Dope. I signed like a 10 month contract with them where I was just basically going to do social media content mm. for, with them for the year, mm. you know, in mm. exchange for some racks and typical stuff. Dope. But Dope. instead of like just doing it that way, mm. we decided that we would actually get studio equipment. So we had them help us build a really dope studio at the crib, like oh. amazing monitors, you know, we got a brand new that is Mac, so smart. everything, like that really, is so really kitted it out. Dope. So lockdown happened and I got my homies Fiso, he's from Ivory Park and he just, you know, he really helped me build the foundation for this project because okay. it's very here. Mm, you know, it's very mm, like, mm. I went straight back to the basics because yeah. I had a lot of time. I was on the lockdown, for you sure, know? So sure, I sure. really just wanted to go back to the essence, you know? Mm. Um, it was the first time that I was creating a project where I didn't have to do anything else. Mm. Usually I'm like shooting a show or doing this or doing gigs mm. or whatever. So this was the first time where all I was doing was working on the music. And I oh. think you can definitely tell. You can. It's, you um, can. It's just amazing. I'm really, really proud of it. Mm. I think it's such a strong reflection of what a female artist in South African hip hop is. Thanks. It sounds like, Thanks. I feel like it's real raps, real stories with mm. real people that you actually know. Mm. Um, it's not just rhyming, mm. you know? It's not That's just a big rhyming. Thing. Facts, um, facts. It's songs. Like yeah, the production the is beautiful, man. It we is. had Sviso do like a majority of the tracks on there. He's really amazing. Mm -hmm. You guys should check him out on Instagram. He's also part of a whole thing called Three Plug. Okay. Really, Three really plug. dope kids check from Ivory out. Park. Mm -hmm. um, Lunatic did two joints. We had Makwa do a song. We had Hope Master do a song. We had dope. Zuchi Coke Dope. dope. Um, Black Motion yeah. as well, yeah. which was wild. Million Major. For which joint? Black Motion, which joint? The last song, the outro. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. The one that sounded like a prayer. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like with the birds yes, and the... Yes, yes, yes that's, that's Black Motion. That was so okay. it's a really well-rounded project. Like, it I'm is. so proud of it. It is, it is. Okay. But what was your state of mind? You know, like, what, like, what were you thinking at the time? Like, what was... What are you thinking about on a daily basis? It would differ from day to day. Some days I'm just like, yeah, it's lockdown. <laughs> just like, um, the lockdown, the studio, yeah, whatever. Yeah. There were days I was just like fucking pissed off. And I think you could hear that. Like, I'm just like, come on, fuck you, coronavirus. Mm, like, what the fuck's going on, you know? Mm, um, a lot mm. of frustration, a lot of uncertainty. For sure, um, for sure. You know, the last two songs, Blessings and Keep Fighting, mm. although they're like super inspirational songs for everybody, the days that I wrote those songs, I was like, what song do I need to hear today? Do you know what That's I mean? Crazy. That's so crazy. So there was that. That is crazy. Just, I went through all of it, man, and mm. I think you can hear that on the project. Facts, facts. What, what, what's your, your writing process like? Um, so like for me, I, I always say, the music already exists somewhere. You know, like every time I try and write, um, I feel like I gotta tap in into mm -hmm. a certain space, you mm -hmm. know? What's what's like your process? Is it like vibes? Uh, is it the beat? How do you work it? Yeah, I like to get the beat first, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. that's just come from the way that I learned how to make music. Yes. But I really do just like to have the beat first. Mm -hmm. Spirit of an OG was the first time where I really just had the sounds in my head before I had the words. Crazy. But more than the actual sounds, it was like the feeling. Mm -hmm. I just felt like this the whole time, you mm -hmm. know, and Sfiso was just really able to articulate to that. that. I wanted it to be very nostalgic as well. Cute. I didn't want it to be like old. I just wanted it to feel nostalgic i, I didn't it. want it to sound like I get it. you know I get it. yeah I get so it. that was really I important I but it. i just like to get the beat first man okay. it's like an open canvas okay and then the words just come to you i never really remember writing a specific thing like you know some mm. people remember like mm. oh then i came up with that when this yes yes like, you never remember that i never really remember that it's just it's like a, i have to enter myself 
mm. kind of. Mm. It's very cathartic. Mm. So afterwards, I can feel a little bit tired, actually. Mm. <laughs> you know, because you just kind of let your heart out. You just bleed, Facts. kind of. Facts. Facts. Um, but yeah, for me, it's always just the beat, just to get the feeling, because you almost hear the words come to you. For sure. You don't even need to write them, you just hear them. For sure, for yeah. sure. That's dope, that's dope. I think we were kind of similar yeah. to a certain extent. Yeah. Um, how you feel about ghostwriting? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, do you have a problem with ghostwriting? I don't have a problem with ghostwriting. You no. don't? You don't? I don't have a problem with ghostwriting. Mm. I think if you acknowledge that you getting it then it's okay mm -hmm. um i definitely came up in a space where i had a lot of really great male writers around me who sure. were like always just trying to enforce their mm. their vision on me so especially when you're coming up in the game especially as a female mc sure. you almost can't avoid the ghost Hmm. So I don't mind the ghost. Also, it's great for other people, so, for sure. Sure. so it's, it's not a bad thing. For sure. You still got people who, who write for you? No. Fully spirit of an OG. That's, that's yeah. I actually really pride myself dope. in that completely. There was dope. actually once I had a thought of instead of doing a track list, I was going to write like a writer's credit list. Mm. It's just going to be like track one, music, track two, music, <laughs> track three. I was like, that would have been dope. That would have been, been dope. It is. It just said to <laughs> It would have been dope. It would have been dope. Um, the reason I asked the ghostwriting thing is because of the four ways freestyle, mm -hmm. you know? Um, when I, when I was checking online, I'm like, okay, what am I going to ask? You know, let me check Muesli up. I see, yo, beef, 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 beef. Is it a thing? Is it a thing, the whole Boiti thing with you and Boiti? Is it like the fact that she writes or whatever? Do no, you it's actually so unfortunate that it turned into a Muesli versus Boiti thing when I'm it was glad. never about that. Okay. I think actually if you... If you know the player's concerned and if you mm. actually really listen to the record, mm. you can hear that there's not even one place at all which I'm addressing her. It's oh. not about her. It's, oh. it's it's about somebody that works with her mm. that I thought was mm. a friend but oh. turned out not to be. So it, it's see, really unfortunate, yeah. you know? That's whack. Yeah. That's whack. Okay. Yeah. okay. 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 But I mean it, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Also my bad. To like overanalyze and over explain or mm. whatever. It's mm. yeah, it is what it is. Okay, 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 yeah, let's drop that, let's drop that. Let's talk about the fact that you've been in the game for nine years now, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's, how did you do it? Like, if, if someone, if a stranger was to pull up to you, be like, yo, B, nine years, how did you do it? Because it's hard, ask me. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. How do you do it? Like, what's the thing that you keep telling? Is, is there a thing you tell yourself? Is there a way you, yeah, you channel your yeah. energy? I guess I've never really done anything else, you know what I mean? Mm. If I had maybe had another job for a few years before this, mm. I would feel a bit differently, but I got my job on MTV when I was 19 years old, you for know, sure. at the end of my first year in varsity. So this is really all that I know how to do, even in the hard times, I'm just like, it's part of the game, I take it in my stride. Oh. Um, I'm learning that the hardships are only just kind of like setting you up for a greater, glory moment sure. in the moment you don't really see it but ultimately everything always works out exactly the way it's supposed to so mm. for me one thing i did really early on in my career is understand that i was working which i feel like a lot of people don't do talk about, about it like the game talk about it the culture mm. and trust me i'm i am miss culture 2021 i love the culture but we have to remember that we are working this mm. is a job you know mm. this is a career you want to be around for a long time you know so i i understood that very very early on and i i think it was good that i had a television background sure. because being a brand representative for such a big channel just taught me about how I should position myself and move in the game. So for sure. work is really, really important. You've got to sure. be about the work. That's, yeah, that's actually a major key. I never thought that you looked at it like that. That's yeah. a major key. Um, so nine years, what are we looking at now for the next uh, five? You know, do you plan that far? Um, I, obviously, we got the whole pandemic, yeah. which makes it really hard to plan, you yeah. know what I'm trying to say, but are there aspirations, I guess? I mean, there's always aspirations, there's always dreams, mm. but if I looked at where I was five years from now, did I think I was going to be exactly where I am right now? Mm. Probably a little bit of yes and a little bit of no, so okay. I'm just taking it one day at a time. Okay. I've realized that life is what happens while you're busy making plans, um, <laughs> and this year That's I'm really dope. just focused on 
allowing God to use me to bring glory to His name, whatever that means. Sure. Whatever that means. Sure, that's dope. That's yeah. dope. However, God, yeah. So you're, spir you're spiritual. I'm very spiritual. Very spiritual. Uh -huh. That's dope. That's dope. And how, how do you incorporate that in like your music a lot? Like do you, how do you how do you maneuver that? Um, probably not a lot. Mm. Um. But every time, especially when I'm making a project, I just get into, I just get to that point where it's like, I gotta thank God, you know, I just, it just has to be, because when people listen to a project, they have to take away something from it, knowing something exactly. about you exactly. or something that they can use for themselves. Dope, yeah, and that's true. If I, I would love for that thing to be God with mm. me, you know, mm. um, because then I can remove myself and I know that you're in good hands. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it always just kind of happens at some point. I've got a song called Blessings on this project yes. that is pretty much just like, yeah. it's like yeah. a praise song, you know, the it whole way. Yeah. And then yeah. there's also Keep Fighting with Black Motion, which mm. is just very like positive, motivational, mm. inspirational. Mm. Um, because I think that's ultimately just the message is that you just always have to have faith and you just always have to keep fighting. I feel you, yeah. I feel you. Okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up, mm -hmm. but I wanna ask you one more question. Yeah. Uh, the question is the hip hop game, you know? Um, you're one of the people who are killing it right now, you know? What do you feel like um, is happening? Like what's your take on it, you know? Um, and do you think, there's a specific thing that's wrong or do you think, you know, because we've been on top before. So like you as a player in the game, you know, what's your take on the game right now as a whole? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and where do you think we're going with this? I always just see the game in a good place, you Don't. know. Um, I don't know, maybe if it's because I've carved a really cool lane for myself that mm. always has me in a good space. Mm. But um, I generally always feel great about South African hip hop, about South African hip hop culture. Um, I feel we could list the cap a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're a bit heavy mm -hmm. on the cap. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Just a, tell, huh? Just a bit <laughs> heavy on the cap. Yeah, I feel you. You know, it, it, it often goes to blasphemy sometimes, mm -hmm, the cap, mm -hmm, which I'm not mm -hmm. so into. For sure. But I got enough of my own shit going on, my nigga. I feel <laughs> like, you know, some I stuff people you. know about, some stuff people don't know about, some stuff will still be revealed. Yeah. But one thing I have learned about the game is that one man's truth is another man's cap. Just respect people. Mm. Um, mm. And mind your business, shit. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lamuzi. Wait, before we go, uh -huh. what we usually do is, you know, you bless us with like two joints or, or, or some, one joint or whatever uh -huh. you're feeling, you know, um, a freestyle. Yeah. Uh, do you have something that you want to do for us? Yeah, I do actually have something for you. I was actually telling you, so mm. there's a song called For With Freestyle mm -hmm. on the project, mm -hmm. which is a dope song produced by Hope Master, Pro Kid Samples, Super Super Crazy. Crazy, yo, that was also one of my favorite, I gotta yeah, tell super you. Yeah, Crazy, Too Super much. Super yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Um, but a lot has been said mm. about the record, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, and because so much has been said, it has put me in a position where I have been I don't want to say forced, mm -hmm. but challenged rather to alter the record. Mm -hmm. um, sure. So okay. I am going to be performing the new version for you guys. Exclusive. Never heard before. Exclusive. It's going to be crazy. And actually explain why the record has been changed on the record. On so the record. Listen up. All right, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Namuzi. I never surrender. You know, and what people think my weaknesses are, or what they they don't expect me to do, and they, they think oh she's 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 rude or okay, she's not expected to do this. No way, I'm not gonna start justifying my my character. My character is my character, and the, the way I am is the way I am. So take me the way I am. Yeah, I never dropped the ball. I dropped the verses. Smoothly push the pen and call the hearses Y'all may be hot but boy you know your shit ain't perfect You know I'm friends with everyone that writes her verses You're self included, how dare you be so deluded They know that they can't assume so they quick to jump to conclusions Call them on the phone and they quick to give you excuses With every word you say my respect for your word reduces Fuck is you saying, we walk so you could run And all we ever did was show y'all love But friends are forever changing, that's the way it goes I guess it's true when they say that true colors always show Talking that smack and I'ma go on attack 
Don't act like we don't know each other better than that I wear the female rapper title like a three-piece suit Can't get this flavor without seasoning too The triple cushions for action so we expect more Yeah, heard that before? Hey. Big niggas better learn up I don't do the kiddie shit I'm with the turn up I stay on my biggie shit Get on the mic and you know I fucking kill this shit Sucker niggas try to act like they don't feel this shit Blasphemy, no longer gets a pass from me Thought I was dead So who get long, I'm a symbol like it's me again I get better with every jab So my new again Take your best shot You know I'm hot Cause haters never take the time to talk about the niggas That's not Just tell the truth You know most of these rappers is dead With every rhyme I spit I empty out a clip in their head Bullets of rage Fire that they can't duplicate I'm a semi-automatic in the hands of John Wick Swag a dripping Vodka sipping Always on the winning team I ball with the greats like I'm Scotty Pippen I got mad ambition on the money making mission With every move I make I got these niggas wishing That there was a my position, cause they don't even got a pot to piss in. So we ain't bothered when we see the sneak dissing. Go on Twitter and you hear the snakes hissing. Then when they in your face, you see the devil grinning. Disgusting, I could never trust them. So anytime I see them, wanna beat them, wanna bust them, burn them, bury the ashes. Send a little vial of the shit to anyone taking chances. Interrogation, yeah, I know reasons. Give a cool, cool, I get a thing. Hey, why? To cheat it. Yeah. Oh shit, well here we go again Your lawyer tried to break me but the boss wouldn't bend So now I'm back on the track on attack I wrote this with the knife you put in my back Use a shady nigga Thinking you could play me nigga Send all the letters you want to steal a snakey nigga Letting holes with no context Get in your head while well, I guess I can't blame you Protecting your bread But they just offended by facts When you was in my studio you wasn't feeling like that When you brought me the beat you said the shit was a smash When you hopped on the hook you said the shit was a Rap. You help hear the samples and publishing details Still got them shits, I could show you the emails So I'm confused, when did we derail? You and I were friends, I thought I knew you well So to tell the truth, make me so I wasn't ready So slow a in London is I'm good by my steady And make sure the 2.0 version is heavy I don't mind the beef like the little letter neck gravy That means who's so bad to match your mkhopolo Who's young and no no sister not the sample You wanna make me the bad guy? Go ahead as for me, I'll just consider you dead. Yeah.